What's up, Ice Heads? It's your boy, Ice. And Ice White. And this is Twice, Twice the Ice. Ice. Twice the ice. Ooh -oh. And today's question is being the man in the relationship, what helped you to be able to articulate emotions without resorting to neglecting the feeling to push through? So that's the interesting question. It is, because men don't like to talk about their emotions. <laughs> so first of all. Jesus. Air quote emotions. He air quoted feeling. <laughs> Emotional feelings. Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> Is it being the man in the relationship, what helped you uh, to be able to articulate emotions without resorting to neglecting the feeling? to push through. Start out. So the person that asked this question is a newly married man. Okay. Like literally maybe a month or two we in. Push. Yeah. Fresh that might, meat. Fresh into the thing. Mm -hmm. Right? They ain't still in the honeymoon stage. Whew. So I'll say this. I, I am personally not emotional. Don't have feelings. I am personally not very good at uh, e explaining my emotions. What Uncle Shay Shay do? <laughs> uh, but I do, however, feel that I am better than I used to be. I agree. I agree. So I'll say this. I think a lot of times, especially when it comes to black men, mm -hmm. When we, when we explain our emotions, we are looked at as either gay or soft. And the black community shuns both of those things mm -hmm. for men. Yeah. You can't be soft and you can't be gay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So as a whole for a heterosexual man <clears throat> the thing that we're seeing from a lot of the black women is that we have to be hard not saying all because I, <laughs> I know all you, some of y'all damn women gonna be out there like that but the truth of the matter is when you think about especially women in their younger younger years they want this bad boy you probably done dated a drug dealer you probably done dated all these dudes who portray being a, a gangster or a thug or whatever because you think that that uh, particular demeanor or manner makes you feel secure and safe. You see what I'm saying? So for the black man, a lot of it is I can't show emotion. Otherwise, they're going to think, one, I'm gay or they're going to think I'm soft. So we're dealing with that. Mm -hmm. Then if we do show emotion toward anything, a lot of times it's not easily accepted from a woman. Hmm. It, like it is often beca because if we if if a man gets to the point where he's emotional, he's he's literally had a lot built up in most cases. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So now it's finally flowing out. You know what I mean? And I had it bubbling. You know what I mean? And I'm bubbled over. You see what I'm saying? So now it's pouring out, right? And the way we look at emotions is totally different from the way a woman look at emotions. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? A woman just wants to be heard. 
right? In most cases, when not all, you know what I'm saying, but in a lot of cases, when a woman's being emotional, they just want they just want to get the shit out their chest and and let it be heard. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's one thing that I've learned. So when she talking, I just shut the hell up. Or you are asked. Oh yeah. Do you want me to? Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I learned that too. Yeah. You know. I'll say, hey, do you, is this a situation where I should answer, or you just like, want no, me just listen. listen? I do. I learned that. Like, it's not something that I I I started doing. Mm -hmm. So we would have a lot of problems when she, you know what I'm saying? When she would be emotional, because I my mind is wired to fix things as a man and a husband. I want to fix things. You should have saw how I tried to fix things last night in this house. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Woo That's not. But I'm just wired to try and fix things, you know? Uh, so, for, me, for a man, in most cases, if they get to the point where they're actually speaking on their emotions and feeling, it's it's to the point to where now I need a solution. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I need a solution because I don't know what else to do with whatever the situation is. Yeah. So the question was, how did I get to the point to be able to articulate emotions without feeling, I mean, without resorting to neglecting the feelings to push through? I don't think that I've ever, I don't think I, honestly have gotten to the point to where I don't feel like I have to push through my emotion because it's been so ingrained in me to not be and I, I mean it depends on I'm not to cut you off no. it, it depends on your partner your I mean you know because I want you to get your emotions out because so many times in particular the black males they hold all of their feelings, all of their emotions in, and boom, here comes suicide. Mm -hmm. Here comes um, resorting to drinking, um, all these other addictions, you know. They never probably really had a chance to get their emotions out or their feelings, and they needed someone in their corner, particularly if this, you know, their spouse or a partner, you know, to talk to, to get those things out because so many men bottles that stuff in because they don't want to seem gay or soft, you know, because they can't truly let out their feelings and like how they feel mm -hmm. um, or whatever situation that they are going through. You know, they feel like, well, I'm the head honcho, I'm the man, I, I, I gotta be, you know, hard and but you're going through hell in the inside, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like your partner should be that safe haven, that safe place for you to let the emotions out or let how you're feeling mm -hmm. out. And emotions is not necessarily saying you're crying, right. you know, all the time. No, that's, that's not what we're meaning. Emotion is your true feeling, how you are feeling in the inside of any situation that you are presented with, yeah. you know? So your partner, your wife, you know, whatever, should be that person that say, hey, how are you feeling? What's going on? And you should be comfortable enough to let out what you're feeling and, you know, explain the situation mm -hmm. that is going on. I think the key word here is vulnerability. Yes. You see what I'm saying? You have to, and honestly, I, I, I Jen and I have, We've been married 10 years. We've been dating 14, almost 15 years, right? Honestly, it probably took, <laughs> out of the 15 years, maybe nine or 10 years before I was like 100% vulnerable. You know what I mean? To where I felt comfortable enough to have the uncomfortable Conversation. conversations about myself. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I can talk to her and listen to her stuff all day, but when it comes to me being vulnerable about how I'm feeling and and 
you know what I'm saying? And, and what I'm thinking about certain situations, it took a long time to do so. Um, even, even to the point of like when Jalen was born, what we dealt with with that situation, uh, I was super unhappy when we had our last child. A lot of t a lot of people don't want to, you know, be real about certain things. One thing we don't want you guys to to, to think is that our marriage is peaches and cream all the time. You know what I mean? We love each other, and because we love each other, we choose to fight through the tough situations. You know what I mean? And that was a tough situation for me because I didn't want any more kids. I just gave her a kid because she wanted one. You see what I'm saying? And then in retrospect, ret retrospect, mm -hmm. that's the word. That's the word. <laughs> Once the baby got here, I resented, you know. This time around, he had the postpartum. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know, they say male postpartum depression. Yeah. It was a real I didn't thing. Have po I didn't have the postpartum. It was him. It was, it was a real thing. Like I was, like man, I was, and He's I was angry. Yeah, he was mad. <laughs> You know, I was angry at everything. But I tried my best to protect him and defuse the situation. But I think the main thing is <laughs> I had at least gotten to the to the point to where to I, I told you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think prior to that, I probably wouldn't have told you. You know what I mean? I probably just tried to deal with it and you know, on your own, right? Get past and it. Your bottles, right? You know. and, and then we <laughs> probably would have had more, you know, issues. issues. So I at least told her how I was feeling, and I, didn't, and I didn't know why. You know what I mean? I didn't know how to articulate why I was feeling this way, but I at least was able to say, "Hey, this is how I'm feeling," mm -hmm. you know, in these situations. So it allowed her to try and. And, and alleviate some of those issues, which then made it worse for me because I'm like, damn, now I'm being a shit dad and a shit husband. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm trying to give you what you want. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> damn, if you do that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we got past it. Mm -hmm. And I think to answer the question, how did I at least get to this point? Um, well, I mean, yeah, definitely prayer, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but also, see what a lot of people don't realize is God God requires you to work some too, you know, and that's a real thing. A lot of people just oh I'm only even in God's hands. Yes, you leave it in God's hands, but sometimes God will be like hey, bro, all you gotta do is do this. Like stop being a butthead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can literally, you know what I mean, help yourself in this situation. You know what I'm saying? So I think. The, the biggest thing that I had to realize is one, you're never gonna get past, well, not, not never, you're ne not you never, cause you may, but for me personally, I still haven't got past the feeling of, I have to push through to say these things, you know what I mean? Cause I still deal with, in the back of my mind, I just deal with it, you know what I mean? And not say anything. So I have to force myself to say whatever I'm dealing with emotionally. You see what I'm saying? So I have just gotten better at pushing through it. Mm -hmm. I, I hope that kind of answers the question because I the real answer is I, I have not got past that. You know what I mean? I guess in, in, in time with me... Um, creating this safe space to constantly remind you that it's okay to release what excuse me, what you're feeling you know you know you you, you are okay to mm -hmm. let out what you feel to me so I can know how to navigate you know the situation you know uh, so with me as your wife, I can just reassure you, hey, it's okay to open up and tell me because you never want to leave your spouse in the dark. Mm -hmm. It's with anything, sickness, stress, you know, because those killers, you know, mm -hmm. so you never want to leave your spouse in the dark. So I want to create this safe space where you can feel comfortable and be vulnerable to yeah. Tell me how you truly feel and whatever situation that you are going through, 
You can tell me and if you need me to help you navigate through the situation, I will be there as your help me to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, but the key thing is you have to tell me mm -hmm. and I want you to be safe in knowing that when you tell me it won't you won't be looked down upon as being soft or yeah. you know and less I, of a man. I, I think that's the big thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, and ladies, I'll say this: you have to be conscientious, conscientious, because mm -hmm. that's the word. Mm -hmm. Have to be conscientious of how you verbalize mm. towards big for me. those situations. Well, even if it ain't got nothing to do with you, mm -hmm. you gotta understand that too. You can be watching Love Is Blind. Or whatever, and this dude is emotional, and you could literally say, "It's a weekend, nigga." You know what I mean? You can say, you can literally say something like that while this dude is being emotional and pouring his heart out to this woman on TV. Your man is gonna pick that up and go, "Okay, I don't need to do that," mm -hmm. because you gonna think that I'm this old weak ass nigga. Cause I, this dude being emotional, so if I'm emotional, that's what you gonna think about me. We put on like we don't, we're not e easily affected by certain things. But when it comes to our woman, our woman can easily affect us in ways that other people can't. Because hopefully as a man, you have let your guard down with this woman that you're with, you chose to marry. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you can let your guard down with her to the point to where, you know, you've let her into your, your emotional space. So... Ladies, you have to be mindful. And then you have to be mindful about what you say to your husband. Mm -hmm. Because, it, like the Bible says, you words know, are powerful. Death and life is the power of the tongue. But, know? yes, that. But I mean, you have to respect your husband. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The Bible says you have to respect your husband uh, and for the man to, to love his wife as God loved the church. But the man needs that respect. That's the big thing. You know, so in a lot of cases, some stuff may come back up in an argument later. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Y'all know y'all mouth be moving. It do. You see what I'm saying? You got to learn to curb your mouth when you are angry. It's hard. God's that's, still working on me. You got to learn to shut up when you're angry. It's tough. You can't try to hit them below the belt. And men, you can't try to hear below the belt. You have uh, when you're angry, you, you're gonna get angry within your relationship or whatever. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? You have to learn what to say and what not to say. I think I did a really good job last night. You did. Cause I was pretty hot. <sighs> Don't make it worse. I think I did really good. You did good. You did great. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect response. We mm -hmm. just. Need to deal with it and deal with whatever the situation is, you deal with it. I think it did good as well. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn to take the situations and scenarios as they come. If you respect your husband enough to where I'm not gonna use this information that you've given me against you. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times... They go vice versa too. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. But I mean, in this case, the question was, you know, how does a man, you know, whatever. Uh, and a lot of times, for a man, hopefully you've had a conversation with your significant other to say, hey, if I'm emotional with you, please don't use this against me because now I'm going to shut this wall off and, you know, we won't be able to progress past it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, it will help if you <laughs> are dealing with any of this. Please put your comments in the section down below. You know what I mean? If you have any other questions that you would like to ask for us to talk about on the video, put it in the questions below and we'll answer them. So, as we always say, love, peace, and hair grease. We are going to own mother lovers. <laughs> mother lovers. That's it. What's up, man? Make sure you subscribe, like, follow, and most importantly, share all things Ice Trauma. Yeah!